I thought I'd take five minutes to share with you my solution to a problem I have with X-Plane ever since I moved to VR. Sound. I find it really annoying that X-Plane doesn't have the sound options I found in FSX or P3D where I can choose which sounds are played to which sound device. In fact, it's even worse. It will only use the system sound device. Great. Every time I put on my headset, I forget to change the system sound and hear nothing on my Rift. It's still coming out through the speakers on the desk. Worse still, I can't change the sound while X-Plane is running, so I have to come out the program, reset the sound and relaunch. Now, I know there's an option in the Oculus Tray tool to change the device before X-Plane runs and switch it back when it closes, but even that's not ideal. That and I have a love-hate relationship with the Tray tool and tend to favour these days the debug tool instead. That aside, the answer I found is a program called VoiceMeter, or to be more exact, VoiceMeter Banana. Gotta love that name. So I'm going to jump onto the desktop and go through the real basics and show you how I use a brilliant piece of donation software. Okay, to get you started, the first thing you're going to have to do is download Voice Meter Banana, and you get it from the VB Audio software site. I will put a link to that in the description below. So we'll go to this website. The Banana tab is the one you want, and scroll down and find the download. You can download the zip file or just download the executable and then run it. If you are impressed by the software and as impressed as I was, then make a donation. It's up to you how much you want to donate. 5 euros, 10 euros, whatever. Having made a donation, you'll then get a gift from the software writer of two additional virtual audio cables. I'm not going to cover what they do right now. There are other videos online, but if you want more details and you want another video from me, just let me know and I'll knock something up for you. So you're going to download the software and install it and you'll have this. Just before I run it, we need to set the windows to use the mixer and not go straight to the speakers. So on your toolbar, bottom right hand side of the screen, you'll see a speaker. Right click on the speaker and press sounds or select sounds and this pop up comes up. You need to go to the playback. This is where you select the device that Windows is going to use by default. Scroll down and select voice meter input. That will send all Windows audio into this mixer and we can then control it. So select voice meter input and set that as the default device. As can be seen, I've already done that. This is the input I have just selected. This is where all my desktop audio is going to come. And so I don't forget, I've right clicked here and I've written in desktop. You can write Windows, you can call it whatever you want, as long as you understand it. So this is my sound in. I need to now direct that sound to my desktop speakers. These are my output mixers. And I've set A1 to be WDM speakers. These are my desktop speakers I've got plugged into the soundboard. So that's A1. A2 I have selected to be WDM, the Rift headphones. So I have two outputs, one for speakers, one for Rift. Here is my input. So now when I launch X-Plane, it will be sending all audio into the here. And I, and I can then direct it to go to A1, which is my desktop speaker, so it will play through this mixer. And I can send it also to A2, and now it's going into this mixer, which is my Oculus Rift. If I want to switch off the desktop speakers, I could turn it off there and just punch it through to A2. Or I could punch it through to both and turn the desktop speakers down. It's that simple. It really is. 
lots more you can do with this piece of software we've got mixers for different microphones i've got my team speak coming in to a different input and i've got outputs here for team speak and obs where i'm doing recording and things like that so i can now have my audio on TeamSpeak separate to my audio that's on my flight simulator. So now the people that are in my chat room don't have to listen to the sounds from my desktop. They're just listening to the microphone. Like I said, so much you can do with this. If you want to find out more, loads of videos online. If you'd like to see something more from me, let me know. But for the moment, that is the best way I have found of overcoming this problem with the Rift, not playing the audio from X-Plane because I forgot to change the default. I don't have to change the default now, it's always there. Please download it and give it a try. Any problems, leave me a comment. I'll see if I can help. Till then, have fun.